Hello friends, welcome to Affairs Cloud Learn to Lead. This is Ashu and today we will discuss very important current fair of 16th of July 2021. You can see two best images of the day but today we will discuss very important and the most important current fair. So watch this video till last. But I am requesting you all the students that you can download our application from the description box link. And after that you can log in with your email ID and after login you can click on this crack current fair section to subscribe our current fairs for one year as well as for two year. Both the subscription prices are very much low. If you see the price you will definitely surprise. But the most important thing that we are covering 95 to 90 percent of that current fair which can come in your exam. This is the genuinity. This is the hard work of affairs cloud team. But how we are covering this current fair section? We are providing you daily sections in the daily. We are providing three type of things. One is detailed current fair question and answer format of current fair and third is the quiz section which you can attempt on an application on daily basis. Next is the weekly section. Again, you will receive three type of things. One is the detailed current fair, question and answer format of current fair and third is the quiz section which you can attempt on an application on weekly basis. Next is the monthly. In the monthly, we are providing four type of PDFs, detailed current fair, question and answer format of current fair, best 100 current fair that is also provided in the form of question and answer and the pocket PDF. Two liner and the three liners current fair will be provided to you so that you can revise the current fairs again and again. We are also providing topic wise current fair to enhance your performance and we are covering 20 most important topics which are very important for every type of exam. It means if you want to revise one topic related news then you can take these news just from single PDF. So you can use these type of PDFs. If you are a banking aspirant then we are providing three things one is the detail and the question and answer format of current fairs only related to banking and economy and third is the quiz section that is also related to banking and economy but you can attempt on our application on monthly basis. If you want to revise all the past current fair of 2021 just from single pdf then you can use this exam pdf. And guys we are also providing you detailed budget and economic survey and also expected question and answer will be provided so that you can know that examiner can frame these type of questions from budget and economic survey. We are also providing state current fairs to enhance your state exams performance and guys we are covering every state and union territory. So there is no different different subscription of these topics we are providing all these things under one subscription. You have to just download our application careers cloud you can log in with your email id and you can click on this crack current fair section to subscribe our current fairs and you can subscribe for one year as well as for two year both the subscription prices are very much low if you see the price you will definitely surprise and on that manual price we are providing 10 percent extra discount if you use this code ash10 and guys remember if you have any query then you can email us on this email id or you can call us on this number so let's start today's session that is the 16th of July 2021 but I am requesting you all the student that you have to like this video you have to share this video and you have to subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform and by providing these three things you are basically motivating us and you are supporting us and guys please join our telegram group from the description box link and we are starting with the most important question section and here is our first question. India's first green ATM so the keyword here is the green ATM has been installed in which state so guys answer of this question is Haryana remember the keyword here is the green ATM you can see here the deputy chief minister of Haryana that is Dushyant Chotalaji and uh, they basically launched Haryana government basically launched this green ATM as a pilot project in which area of the Haryana it is in Gurugram or you can say Gurgaon and you can see here it is the first green ATM called automated multi commodity green dispensing machine. So you can say it will uh, dispense the quantity of ration as allocated by the Haryana government per individual family in the respective food bag designed at the ATM machine and it will be exactly installed in the Farooq Nagar in Gurugram district Haryana especially for the Haryana student you have to remember exact place that is the Farooq Nagar in the Gurugram district and it is set up under the world food program of the United Nations and the machines are set to be installed at the ration depots across the state and they will address the complaints regarding the time and right measurement of the ration quantity and it will bring in more transparency in the public food distribution system and this machine can dispense approximately 70 kg of grains in 5 to 7 minutes so this is very good thing and the machine works like a bank ATM using it three types of grains like uh, uh, it will dispense wheat it will dispense rice and it will also dispense millets 
and uh, it can be distributed through this ATM machine. So this is a new kind of thing which is uh, started by Haryana government. So you have to remember grain ATM and it can dispense almost 70 kg of grains like wheat, rice and millets in 5 to 7 minutes. It will definitely bring more transparency in the public food distribution system. And guys, we were talking about the World Food Program. You have to remember a World Food Program headquarters is in Rome, Italy. Rome, Italy. And remember about Haryana here. Haryana's Chief Minister is Manohar Lal Khattarji, Deputy Chief Minister now you know, it is uh, Dushan Chotala ji. And uh, remember the governor, new governor of Haryana is Bandaru Dattatreya. He was earlier the governor of Himachal Pradesh, but now he is governor of uh, Haryana. And guys remember two very important national parks are there. One is the Sultanpur National Park, Sultanpur National Park and second is Kalesar National Park. Both are very very important, Kalesar and Sultanpur. Moving to next question. So uh, only one most important question was there. So now we are moving to the very important questions guys. You have to like this video. You have to share this video as maximum as possible and you have to subscribe this channel if you're new on this platform. And guys remember by providing these three things you are motivating us and you are supporting us. And please join our telegram group from the description box link. Here is the question. Asha Bonalu festival celebrated in which state? So you have to just remember the keyword here. The name of the festival is Asha or the Asha Bonalu. And this is celebrated in the state of Telangana and it is the biggest celebrations in Telangana. So guys, you can see here uh, the Telangana Bonalu festivals begin. And guys, you can also remember that it is the one of the state festival after the state formation in 2014. Remember, it is the state festival and it is the biggest traditional folk festival. And Telangana government already allocated almost rupees 90 crore for the Bonalu celebrations. And you can remember what is the meaning of Bonalu. Bonalu stands for goddess mahakali so remember what is the meaning of banalu it is goddess mahakali and devotees offer the traditional bonum bonum stands for meals to be goddess mahakali at 25 temples across the twin cities of hyderabad and the sikandrabad and guys remember the first of these offerings are golden bonum it means golden rice you can say and it is offered to the goddess uh, Jagdamba at the temple of Hyderabad's Golconda Fort at almost 12 afternoon. And it is celebrated during the Hindu calendar month of Asht. A-S-H-A-D-A. -A. It is celebrated during the Hindu calendar month of Asht which falls in the month of July and August. It was cancelled by the state government in 2020. I mean due to COVID-19 pandemic and now it is the first festival being celebrated in Telangana after the lockdown has been lifted. So guys, you have to remember what is the meaning of Bonum. Bonum stands for meals. They are basically cooking rice. So uh, that's why golden uh, Bonum is uh, basically offered to the goddess Jagdamba. So golden rice is basically offered to the goddess Jagdamba. So you have to just remember it is the state festival of Telangana. Remember this. And guys, one more important thing under this question is about Telangana. Remember, K. Chandrasekhar Rao is currently the chief minister of Telangana. Tamli Zai Sondreya Ranjan is also currently the governor of Telangana. And you can remember uh, very important national parks like Mahavir Harina National Park. Very important Mahavir Harina National Park or full name is the Mahavir Harina Vansthali National Park. Next is Murugavani National Park. Again, very important. And third one, if you want to remember, then you can remember Kashu Brahmananda Reddy. Kashu Brahmananda Reddy National Park. So you can also remember these. So three national parks you have to remember. Now we are moving to the next question. Which state launched the electric bike taxi scheme 2021? So guys, it is important. Uh, the main keyword here is the electric bike taxi scheme 2021 and it is launched by Karnataka state. So uh, you can also eliminate the options by odd one out like Haryana, Punjab and Himachal in the North area. So only South Indian state is Karnataka. So you have to just remember it is started by South Indian state Karnataka. And Karnataka Chief Minister Yadirupa ji unveiled e-bike taxi scheme in Bengaluru, especially in which area? In the metro city, Bengaluru. And for the first time, private players, individuals will be able to run electric bike taxis in the cities across the state. It means the state government approved uh, the bike as a taxi, e-bike as a taxi. And vehicles registered under the scheme will be kept under transport transport category and exempted from the permits and the tax. So its main aim to improve the first and the last mile connectivity, reduce carbon emission and generate self-employment opportunity for the youth. 
and the bikes will have to clearly mention the words bike taxi in order to receive the status of e bike taxi and the scheme is applicable only for the battery operated or the electric motorcycles or the electric bikes and accordingly the e bike taxis companies will have to provide insurance coverage for the rider and the owner and it is eco friendly scheme and encourages fuel conservation because we are talking about electric bikes and the electric motorcycles and it aims to reduce the travel time and inconvenience faced by the public to travel from their home to the bus stands railway station and the metro station so guys remember this is karnataka state and recently government school in karnataka first in india to develop a satellite and this name of the school is government boys high school in the stone building college so you have to just remember the state government and it is the government school of karnataka who is the first in india to develop a satellite this is again one of the most important question you have to remember and they established this satellite with the help of isro you can also remember because they can't uh, basically um, built a satellite by their own so uh, isro helped to build this satellite but this is the first government school in karnataka so especially the karnataka students you have to remember and remember this uh, electric bike taxi scheme now bike taxis will be uh, categorized under the transport category so you can also remember so remember about karnataka karnataka's chief minister is yadirupa ji we already covered and uh, the governor is thavarchand gehlot the new governor is thavarchand gehlot so guys remember this question is most important thavarchand gehlot and there are very important national parks are there like you can say bandipur national park is there bandipur nagarhol nagarhol national park dandeli national park very important kali tiger reserve is also there kudremukh national park is also there so bandipur nagarhol dandeli kali tiger reserve kudremukh and baner gatta one more you can learn baner gatta national park so these are most important national parks in karnataka and kudremukh is very famous iron ore mine you can also remember this move into next question rbi restricted which payment system operator from own boarding new domestic customers into their card networks from july 22 2021 so rb restricted basically uh, was imposed in exercise of power vested under the rb under section 17 of the payments and settlement system of act 2007 and guys this is mastercard so mastercard can't uh, onboard new domestic customers into their card network from july 22 2021 and you can see here rbi imposes restrictions on mastercard you have to just remember the keyword that rbi imposed restriction on mastercard from adding new customers from 22nd july 2021 to till further notice and it is due to the non compliance with the directions on storage of payment system data and uh, in april 2018 rbi made the following regulations under the payment settlements uh, payment and settlement system act of 2007 uh, that uh, the storage of payment system data to all the payment system providers who are authorized and approved by the rbi to set up and operate a payment system in india but rbi uh, uh, restricted this uh, my um, you can say card provider company mastercard for the non compliance with the direction on the storage payment system data but rb cleared all the guidelines in 2018 and mastercard is authorized to operate card networks in india under the payment and settlement system act 2007 and rb has power to impose any restriction uh, to issue any type of the card under this act that is payment and settlement system of 2017 under section 17 so you can remember and guys remember about mastercard mastercard india headquarters is in mumbai but uh, global headquarters is in united states of america exact place is new york and who is the ceo ceo is michel mayback you can remember michel mayback move into next question a business accounting software which is uh, known as busy has collaborated with which bank for banking solution so very simple question one is the business accounting software named as busy and second is the bank and both tie up for providing banking solutions and this bank is icici so you can see here busy the business accounting software and icic bank tied up and the integration will help busy users to gain better accessibility in the managing their banking improving their business efficiencies and you can also see here it will allow busy users to reconcile their bank statements automatically it means it will benefit the busy user definitely because they can reconcile their bank statements automatically and they can do accounting fetch bank details make payments 
uh, directly from the software and this will improve their business efficiencies and users who do not have any icic bank current account can conveniently apply for a new one from the bz software itself it means you don't have to visit the icic bank website for opening a current account or you don't have to go to physically in the icic bank branch you have to just open your bz software and you can apply for your new current account uh, in S in icici and icic bank current account holders can securely connect their bank account to the bc accounting software so it is useful for the bc users and it is also very useful for the icic bank customers because they can easily use the bc accounting software from the icic bank uh, current account uh, system and the bc users also can use the services of icic bank so guys you can say uh, uh, now customers from the msmes or you can say the micro small and medium enterprises sector can experience contextual banking by connecting their banking and accounting system together and which was available only to the big companies earlier but now it is available for all the msmes now they can do accounting and uh, you can say the banking together so recent latest news you have to remember icic bank became the first bank in asia pacific and the second globally to offer the facility called swift gpa instant the facility for cross border invert payment so guys you have to just remember this news we already covered this question in the very important section and uh, you can also remember about icici icici was established in 1955 but it was incorporated in 1994 headquarters is in mumbai maharashtra managing director and chief executive officer is sandeep bakshi tagline is hum hai na khayal aapka hum hai na khayal aapka now we are moving to next question which day will be observed as the first ever world plastic surgery day in 2021 it will be first ever celebrated and uh, earlier it was celebrated as national plastic surgery day by indian government now it will be considered as the world plastic surgery day and it is the first time that it will be celebrated on 15th of july it means answer of this question is b 15th of july you can see here National Plastic Surgery Day will be celebrated as the World Plastic Surgery Day and it will celebrated on the 15th of July 2021 and earlier we are celebrated National Plastic Surgery Day uh, on the 15th of July now it is recognized as World Plastic Surgery Day and uh, this is adopted by the uh, plastic and the reconstructive surgeons and the National Plastic Surgery Day was first observed in the year of 2011 if you can remember you can otherwise it is not so much important and the idea of celebration of national plastic surgery day on the 15th july was first launched by dr s raja you can just remember the name if you want dr s raja the president of the association of plastic surgeons of india and it was uh, observed in 2011 and this uh, 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 indian or you can say the national plastic surgery day now become the world plastic surgery day it is also adopted by very important organization this is known as association of plastic surgeons of india and guys remember plastic surgery originated from india this question is very important in the history because one book was written it is known as shushrut samhita remember i am writing here the name shushrut samhita this is the name of the book and this is written by shushrut or shushrut so uh, it is the in, uh, ancient indian physician and the surgeon who is known as the father of indian surgery or father of the plastic surgery so uh, you have to remember one book is sushustar or the shushrut samhita and it is written by shushrut and uh, the plastic surgery was explained under this book that's why he is known as the father of indian surgery and one another book is charak samhita remember charak samhita the ayurveda is basically written under this book remember ayurveda charak samhita it is written by charak and uh, he is known as the father of ayurveda move into next question what is the theme of unified sorry uh, what is the theme of united nations world youth skill day so the main keyword here is the united nations youth skill day and guys remember this day is basically celebrated every year on the 15th of july to highlight the importance of empowering the youths empowering the youths and uh, with the skills for employment and decent work and entrepreneurship and the main theme is reimagining youth skills post pandemic so guys you can remember this is the theme reimagining youth skills post pandemic so that we can provide the trainings we can provide the employment we can provide decent work and we can provide the opportunities for the entrepreneurship skills and you can see here 
2021 World Youth Skill Day is celebrated on 15th of July. And guys, remember the day offers a platform for the young people, technical and the vocational education and the training institutions, any type of the firm and the workers organization to discuss the importance of empowering youth. And the first World Youth Skill Day was celebrated in 2015. You can remember if you want in 2015. And you can also remember that World Youth Skill Day 2021 also marks the sixth anniversary. Also marks the sixth anniversary of the Skill India, Skill India mission because skill india mission was launched in 2015 with a vision to create an empowered work uh, workforce by the year of 2022 so this is the sixth year celebration or the sixth anniversary of the skill india mission also so you can remember all these things now we can move to next question american player of which game shirley fry irwin passed away so you have to just remember the name shirley fry irwin and you can remember uh, she belongs to which country she belongs to united states of america because in any obituary you have to remember three things one is the name of the country or the name of the state now we are talking about international player so you have to remember the name of the country next you have to remember the game or the profession third is the name so these three things are important now you know the name shirley fry irwin you know the country country is usa and game is guys tennis so you have to remember this is very important question you can also see here the picture tennis hall of famer shirley fry irwin dies and you can also see here shirley fry irwin won the first ever grand slam title at the 1951 french open an american tennis player and grand slam winner shirley fry irwin who was also included in the international tennis hall of fame international tennis hall of fame in 1970 and she passed away and she topped the ranking in 1956 it means at the top in 1956 she was born in united states of america and she was ranked among the world's top 10 players of tennis in 1946 and 1948 and from 1950 to 1956 she was in the top 10 players of the tennis and she has also won the 13 grand slam double titles so these are very very important things and she is one of the 10 women to win single titles at all four major championship like uh, us open wimbledon uh, french and australian open so she is one of the 10 women to win single titles at all four major championships so you have to just remember the name shirley fry irwin and you have to remember the game is tennis move into next question former president of which country mamnoon hussain passed away mamnoon hussain and he was former president of which country he was former president of pakistan and guys you can remember here you can see here the picture former pakistan president mamnoon hussain passed away and you can see here uh, he was born in 1914 agra that was the british india at that time now agra is in india you can remember and he was the senior leader of which party pakistan muslim league nawaz so you have to remember this because examiner can ask the name of the political party pakistan muslim league nawaz and mamnoon hussain was the 12th president of pakistan from 2013 to 2018 we are talking about recent and guys remember in 1999 if you can otherwise it is a very important information for the pakistani students he was also appointed as the governor of sindh governor of sindh but he was removed after the pravesh musharraf when he uh, become the president after the military coup otherwise he was the governor of sindh at that time so uh, you can see here uh, he was the 12th president of the pakistan you can remember the number because very important 12th president of the pakistan from 2013 to 18 mamnoon hussain and you have to remember the political party name pakistan muslim league nawaz move into next question Nabad has selected Ifco Kisan Sanchar for setting up 17 farmer producer organization in which state so the most important keyword here is the farmers producer organization and it will be set up by the Ifco and Nabad and uh, the state is Gujarat so you have to remember Nabad is the national bank for agriculture and rural development and Ifco stands for Indian Farmers Fertilizer Corporation Limited and both will set up 17 farmers producer organization and they tied up with one more organization that is known as ncdc national cooperative development corporation for setting up of this farmers producer organization so you can see here ifco is there nabad is there 
and one more important organization is their ncdc national cooperative development corporation and all these organization will set up 17 farmers producer organization and you can see here this ifco kisan will establish five fpos in association with nabard in the four districts of gujarat so ifco will set up these uh, you can say farmers producer organization and five they will set up with the help of the nabard in the four districts of gujarat because uh, in total they will cover six districts of gujarat and under the four districts they have to tie up with the nabard to set up five farmers producer organization and guys uh, in a total of 5000 farmers will be associated with these uh, farmer producer organization by the end of 2021 and 50000 farmers will be associated with this farmer producer organization with the uh, end of the 2025 and guys remember these uh, uh, four districts especially for the gujarat student only for the gujarat students anand is there patan is there sikand uh, sorry surinder nagar is there and valsad is there so you can remember if you want now only 12 fpos are there because in total there are 17 they will set up by the ifco kisan in association with the ncdc it means five with the help of the nabard and uh, 12 with the help of of the national cooperative development corporation and it will be set up in the junagadh and sabarkantha districts if you belongs to gujarat only you have to remember otherwise you don't have to remember the districts and ifco kisan will facilitate market linkage support to these upcoming farmer producer organization and farmers under the farmer forward linkage program so it will provide the better income to the farmers and we can also complete the target to double the farmers income by the year of 2022 so remember these things otherwise uh, you have to remember the keywords that ifco will set up 17 farmer producer organization i'm just summing up this uh, question 17 farmers producer organization will be set up by ifco and uh, five will be set up with the help of the nabard and 12 will uh, with the help of the ncdc that is uh, national cooperative development corporation and remember about gujarat guys chief minister is vijay rupani and uh, governor is acharya devrat very important national parks are there like marine national park is there vansada national park is there very important black buck national park is there black buck national park and one most important gir national park is there one very important wildlife sanctuary is also there that is wildlife sanctuary moving to next question haryana to organize khelo india youth games now in 2022 it means uh, uh, it is postponed to 2022 because haryana state government which is set to host the fourth fourth edition of khelo india youth games in november 2021 has postponed the event to the february 2022 due to the third wave of the covid 19 and guys you can see here it is postponed the event to the february 2022 now it will be held in 2022 in february month and sports minister anurag thakur announced possibilities of conducting some events in himachal pradesh also because now new sports minister is anurag thakur and his constituency is basically hamirpur in himachal pradesh that's why he stated that he announced the possibilities of conducting conducting some events in the Himachal Pradesh and the event is planned to be held in five cities three in like Haryana uh, and like Panchkula, Shahabad and the Ambala two union territories one is Delhi and the Chandigarh also Chandigarh is the capital of Haryana and Delhi is uh, the separate union territory and total of 25 sporting events including five indigenous games like yoga, Gatka, Kallari Pattu, Thangla and Malkham will be conducted for under 18 age group because you can remember that national level multi-sporting event that is conducted annually and the inaugural edition was conducted in 2018 at New Delhi and events were conducted in the two categories one is the under 18 age uh, students and under 21 college students and the mascot for 2021 Kelo India Youth Gum that is the fourth Kelo India Youth Gum that is Dakkad Dakkad is basically you can say the symbol of Haryana and there is a possibility that BRICS Games 2021 can be organized along with the Kelo India Youth Games and in 2020 Maharashtra was the champion of Kelo India Youth Games Maharashtra was the champion in the last Kelo India Youth Games so remember this information and remember about Haryana we already discussed about Haryana Chief Minister is Manohar Lal Khattar Governor is uh, you can say Bandaru Dattatreya Bandaru Dattatreya and two national parks are very important one is the sultanpur national park and uh, one is uh, kalesar national park so these are very very important 
मोन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिल्ली ट्रांसपोर्ट मिनिस्ट्री इन कलेबरेशन विद विच कंपनी टू प्रोवाइड रियल टाइम इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट ऑल पब्लिक बसेज इन डेली सो एज दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड दे टाइड अप विद द गूगल इट मीन्स ऑल द बसेज विच दे आर गोइंग फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर नाउ यू कैन चेक ऑन द गूगल मैप सो दिस इज वेरी गुड थिंग बाय द डेली ट्रांसपोर्ट मिनिस्ट्री सो यू कैन सी हियर डेली गवर्नमेंट ज्वाइंस हैंड विद द गूगल टू गिव रियल टाइम इन्फो अबाउट द बसेज टू कम्यूटर्स and you can see here this would be executed by integrating delhi public transit system into the google maps and delhi transport ministry in collaboration with the google launched this real time information about all public buses of delhi to the passenger and as the facility is also available in the hindi language the users could change the language in hindi by changing setting in the google maps or within device so it will enable commuters to track buses static and dynamic locations arrival departure delay times bus stops and the routes of 3000 buses that is a huge thing 3000 buses on a real time basis on google map and the delhi government uh, also announced a fellowship program which is known as chief ministers urban leader fellowship this is a new kind of thing it is to recruit outstanding young professionals across the country under the age of 35 who are passionate about public service and willing to work with the delhi government for the time period of 2 years and under this program the fellows will support the ministry's department in policy formulation and implementation and fellow will get a salary that is a lucrative salary like 1.25 lakh per month and associate fellow will get 75000 per month so guys you have to remember this chief ministers urban leaders fellowship it is uh, uh, to the students who are under the age of 35 and who want to serve uh, to the nation or who has a passionate who has a passion uh, to serve uh, in the public service can work with the delhi government for the time period of 2 years so this is chief ministers urban leadership fellowship program now we are moving to next question which state and union territory launched horticulture week for doubling farmers income so uh, you know the target of 2022 to double the farmers income and uh, this is jammu and kashmir who celebrated recently horticulture week so remember this and you can also see here jammu and kashmir lieutenant governor manoj sinha ji launched this horticulture week aimed at doubling farmers income and you can also see here horticulture week in line with the prime minister vision of doubling the farmers income by 2022 and it is launched by lieutenant governor or the lieutenant governor of jammu and kashmir that is manoj kumar sinha and he laid the foundation stone of 100 acred 100 acred high density plantation nursery in jammu and kashmir and uh, it is the union territory uh, who is also targeting to plant 25 lakh high density plants in 2021 compared to 49000 in 2019 they planted 49000 in 2019 but now they targeted overwhelming target that is 25 lakh high density plants in the 2021 and even lieutenant governor also launched the pervej application to link jammu and kashmir horticulture producer with the marketplace so that they can better they can uh, basically get the better income for their horticulture produce because as a part of the mission 1.2 crore aloe vera plants 42 lakhs you can say strawberries and 67000 olives plant, were be planted in the uh, uh, in, in the districts of jammu and kashmir so this is the target but you don't have to remember so much detail like this technical detail you have to just remember the pervez application which is launched by jammu and kashmir and horticulture week is also celebrated by the jammu and kashmir government and uh, remember about jammu and kashmir very famous national park is there dachigam national park is there very famous kishtwad kishtwad national park uh, there is gulmarg wildlife sanctuary very famous gulmarg wildlife sanctuary so these are very very important in the jammu and kashmir moving to next question so all the most important and the very important questions we covered now we are moving to the important questions you have to like this video share this video as much as possible and you have to subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform and by providing these three things you are basically motivating us and you are also supporting us please join our telegram group from the description box link and here is the question who launched healthcare innovation challenge which is known as hic 2.0 healthcare innovation challenge this is hic with a focus on the digital transformation of the healthcare so this question is not so much important you have to just remember that hic 2.0 enable hospitals to nominate use cases to use cases as per their digital solution needs it means hic 2.0 enable hospitals to nominate the use cases as per their digital solution needs 
and guys uh, this is uh, uh, started by the nascom center of excellence remember answer of this question is c so it is just a one liner question you can just uh, remember this question as same as in slide like nascom center of excellence was set up in 2016 as a part of the digital india initiative by the ministry of electronics and information technology to aid innovative startups in the emerging technologies so you can remember and you can also remember the chairperson of this organization is ub praveen rao ub praveen rao he is currently the chairman of nascom and president is r chandrashekhar r chandrashekhar move into next question so uh, it is just a information that cabinet approvals on the 15th of july 2021 there are some approvals some are very very important you can see here increase in the dearness allowances and dearness relief Uh, it means ta and uh, you can say da and dr also increased so you have to remember the cabinet has approved the increase of dearness allowances to the center government employees only to the center government employees and uh, dearness relief to the pensions to 28% earlier it was 17% it means examiner can ask how much increased 11% is now increased so it can be asked in sbi especially in sbi it can be asked so now it is 28% earlier it was 17% total increase is 11% and next continuation of the national ayush mission this is again very important because union cabinet approved the continuation of national ayush mission as a centrally sponsored scheme from uh, 2021 to 2026 so it was started in the 1st of april 2021 now it will be till 31st of march 2026 and remember it was firstly launched in 2014 and it is implemented by the ministry of ayush and the main objective of this mission is to promote the ayush medical system through cost effective ayush services next there is a mou between india and denmark on the cooperation in the health and medicine so you can remember for the health and medicine we uh, tied a uh, tied with a country that is denmark and there is memorandum of understanding with india and russia on cooperation regarding the coking coal which is used for the steel making so for coking coal it is russia for health and medicine it is denmark and guys remember about denmark here denmark prime minister is mette fredriksson capital is copenhagen and currency is danish krone danish krone move into next question so we are moving to the one liner important points and here is the first point was first of all we have to change the color to red isro conducted three or the third long march duration hot test of the vikas engine for gaganyaan program so you have to just remember for the gaganyaan program we will use the vikas engine and it is specially used by the isro and it is for the gaganyaan mission so you have to remember this and uh, you can also remember that it is a 10000 crore mission that is gaganyaan mission 10000 crore gaganyaan mission aims to send a crew members to the space for a period of 5 to 7 days 5 to 7 days by the year of 2022 by the end of 2022 or by the starting of 2023 and when india completes the 75 year of independence then it will be launched and gslv mk3 will be used as a you uh, in this mission and guys you can also remember as a part of the program four indian astronaut candidates have undergone generic space flight training in russia we already covered this point and india's gaganyaan mission will make it just the fourth nation to send a crew into space after russia russia was the first and uh, second is the usa third is china and india will become the fourth country so you can remember this and isro you all know headquarters in bengaluru and chairman is k sivan next is ifc or the you can say international finance corporation invested 16.5 million in the med genome for covid-19 research it is specially for the india because you have to remember that this organization which is known as international finance corporation is a member of world bank group and they have invested almost 123 crore rupees or 16.5 million dollar in med genome which is a genetic diagnostic and the research company to increase the access to covid-19 testing support research and manage future outbreaks and main objective is to help india to strengthen its healthcare system and build resilience and increase the level of recovery from the covid-19 but you have to remember this organization international finance corporation its headquarters is in washington dc and it was set up in 1956 next rb cancels license of dr shivaji rao patil nilangekar 
अर्बन कॉपरेटिव बैंक डोंट रिमेंबर एनीथिंग जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस बैंक बिलोंग्स टू महाराष्ट्र दिस बैंक बिलोंग्स टू महाराष्ट्र द बैंक डज नॉट हैव द रिक्वायर्ड कैपिटल एंड अर्निंग प्रोस्पेक्टर्स एंड द बैंक फेल टू कंप्लाई विद द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द बैंकिंग रेगुलेशन एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन विद इट्स करंट फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन द बैंक विल नॉट बी एबल टू पे इट्स डिपॉजिटर इन फुल सो दैट्स वाई आर बी कैंसल द लाइसेंस नेक्स्ट आर बी एक्सटेंडेड द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ टाइम लाइन ऑफ ए टी एम कैसेट स्वैप टिल मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू सो द रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया हैज एक्सटेंडेड द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन डेड लाइन फॉर द बैंक टू यूज ओनली लोकेबल कैसेट्स दीज आर नोन एज द लॉक एबल कैसेट्स विच वुड बी स्वैप एट द टाइम ऑफ कैश रिप्लेनिशमेंट और फिलिंग अप कैश इन ए टी एम्स टिल मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू In 2018, RBI issued some guidelines about this, and RBI had recommended banks to use the lockable cassettes in their ATMs to overcome the risk involved in the open cash replenishment or top up in ATMs. So remember, it is till March 2022. next international financial service center that is the only financial service center in india constituted expert committee for the development of longevity finance hub in the gift city of in uh, international financial service center so it is not so much important it is just to um, develop the international financial service center you have to just remember where it is situated it is in gandhinagar and guys you can remember the first chairman is in jethi shrinivas and uh, it was set up in 2020 under the international financial service act of 2019 next uh, question is next line is basically department of biotechnology and ministry of earth and science science both collaborated and signed mou for the cooperation in the polar biology so department of biotechnology and ministry of earth sciences have signed a memorandum of understanding for mutual collaboration in the field of polar biology polar biology stands for biology of the polar regions and under the agreement both organizations will work under one roof and work jointly to address relevant questions in the polar biology but you have to remember here minister of earth sciences that is new minister of uh, earth sciences it is dr jitender singh dr jitender singh he has a minister of state independent charge independent charge dr jitender singh and uh, he belongs to jammu and kashmir his constituency is udampur udampur you can remember if you want move on to next question 15th of july 2021 question very simple question and direct question static question opening of maxim of atm is an example of which of the following so it is type of a marketing guys and it is known as direct marketing so atms are highly visible easily accessible and often situated in the high footfall areas like uh, uh, maxim populated areas and uh, they characteristics uh, uh, these type of the characteristics that make them ideal for promoting brand awareness and uh, distributing a company's marketing communication to the widest possible audience so that's why it is known as the direct marketing now we are moving to the question of the day very simple question when was liberalized remittance scheme established so you have to tell me the year when was liberalized remittance scheme established i will tell you what is this scheme you have to tell me the year now uh, only answer in the comment box i am waiting your answer please like this video please share this video as much as possible and guys please press this bell button if you want full notifications and you can also join a telegram group from the description box link and please share this video as much as possible by doing this you are supporting us and please uh, uh um do current affairs and revise current affairs from our pdfs and you can download our pdfs from our application application downloading link is given in the description box and you can subscribe for one year as well as for two year 10% discount is given and you can use this ash10 code for further 10% discount and guys it is affairs cloud promise and it is my personal promise that if you are reading the current affairs from the pdfs and if you are watching the videos daily then your current affairs section will go strong and you will cover 90 to 95% of current affairs which can come in your exam and guys don't take life so much serious life is fun always be happy thank you guys take care and bye bye